Did you know that air is a complex mixture of gases and microscopic dust particles? It is the clear gas in which all living things breathe and live. In space, there is no air. Air is composed of approximately 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, 0.04% carbon dioxide, and trace amounts of other gases. The air we breathe contains more than 1,800 kinds of bacteria. At room temperature, the average air molecule travels at the speed of a rifle bullet. The air around is comprised of different gases like nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide. The air also contains traces of helium, neon, methane, water vapors, hydrogen and krypton. The air is not just comprised of gases. It also contains tiny particles known as aerosols. Some of these particles occur naturally, like dust and pollen. Some of these particles are present due to man-made activities like smoke from cars, factories or power plants. Humans consume around 50 liters of oxygen per hour and 16 kilograms of oxygen per day. Each plant leaf gives off about 5 milliliters of oxygen per hour. Dust, sandstorms, wildfires and eruptions of volcanoes are the natural source of air pollution. Whereas the smoke from cars and other vehicles, smoke from factories and industries are the main man-made causes of air pollution. The Air Quality Index AQI, measures the quality of air. The higher the AQI value, the greater is the level of air pollution and the greater the health concern. For example, an AQI value of 50 or below represents good air quality while an AQI value over 300 represents hazardous air quality. Air can be compressed. Compressing the air makes the molecules move more rapidly which increases the temperature. This phenomenon is called as heat of compression. Compressing air is literally to force it into a smaller space and as a result, the molecules of the air get tightly packed. Our lungs hold one liter of air all the time, even if we exhale. The biggest air pollution instance was held in the year 1952 in London, England. It is known as the Great Smog of London and it killed 8,000 people. It was a combination of industrial pollution and high-pressure weather conditions which lasted for five days.